guys, this is Jen Farino from PlusOils.com, and I'm so glad you're here. This video was supposed to be a couple nights ago, but we got some food poisoning and stuff like that, so I'm here tonight. We're all feeling good. Um, we're going to talk about back to school, essential oils for back to school. So join us. Um, this is going to be a great Facebook Live. We're going to be diving into the premium starter kit oils. This is our get started live for September back to school edition. So we're going to talk about using our premium starter kit specifically for this time of year. So if you got your starter kit recently or you know maybe a couple months ago and you need to be re-inspired on how to use your oils, uh, grab them and we're going to just dive in and start talking about how to use each one and how to get the most out of your oils that for September. Um, I first want to talk a little bit about Young Living in general. And if you have, sorry for the close-up view, I'm trying to reach for this. You have this book in your starter kit. This is an awesome book to just look through and see all the different um, aspects of Young Living. So this is what we talk about this page. It's um, science, sourcing science and, and standards. And this is our fundamental, fundamental pieces of what seed to seal means. So seed to seal this page. Seed to seal is the promise that you see on your bottles of Young Living Oils, and they are seed to seal promise, meaning that Young Living, Young Living monitored everything in that bottle that from the time the seed was planted up until the bottle was sealed. They monitored that whole process. They didn't buy their oil from a vendor and trust the vendor. They were the whole process. And that's so important when you're buying essential oils because the, when you have a middleman, right, if you're not if you're trusting a middleman or, or you're buying from a vendor, that person or that company or that supplier really has an opportunity to deceive their seller because with essential oils, those molecules are so tiny that you can manipulate them, make them synthetic. We can adulterate them, put in different things to uh, mask the mask different things that are in it, and that does a lot of harm to our oils. Um, and to you as a consumer. So for instance, I always talk about tea tree oil because it's, it's the easiest one to manipulate in a very cheap way. Um, oftentimes, I would say more often than not, tea tree oil is mixed with turpentine. And that is because there is a molecule in tea tree oil that is so similar to turpentine. So even if an essential oil company has the heart and they want to produce an essential oil that is pure and 100% authentic to what nature needs, if they are buying an essential oil from a vendor who put turpentine in it secretively, right? And they buy it and they're like, you know what? We are going to test this oil and make sure it's everything it needs to be according to nature. They're going to put it in, in their labs. That pure tea tree oil, not pure because they put... Uh, turpentine in it, it's going to test pure in their labs um, for a couple of reasons. It, the turpentine molecule is very similar to, the, like I said, the, very similar to the molecule that we find in tea tree oil. But also, there are an, another reason why essential oils may not test. There are enough molecules in one drop, not one bottle, in one drop of an essential oil. There's enough molecules in one drop to cover every single one of your cells 40,000 times. You know how many cells you have in your body? <laughs> okay, so that's how many um, molecules are in one drop. If you put that into a, a lab and you test that molecule, that many molecules, it's going to take a very, very long time. I would guess probably close to a year that we're, you're going to test that many molecules. So um, there's really no way to guarantee the purity when someone, when an essential oil company tells me that they have state-of-the-art labs and they're testing with X, Y, and Z, and they have third-party tests. And yes, Young Living does that too. And we have tests that um, other essential oil companies don't even know about. Um, we have proprietary tests that are done because Young Living is the world leader in essential oils. Um, that we have tests that are done in our facilities and our labs that you can go see. Um, it's we have this one machine. It can combust the oil. Um, it gets to the temperature of the sun. Like, holy cow! Um, it gets the temperature of the sun to combust the oil to break it up into all these little molecules that it can then test. I mean, the testing that is done in this laboratory is just 
dynamite. Um, and if you're ever in Salt Lake City area, Utah, please, please, please go see it. it there is like nothing like it on this planet. There are labs, there are farms. Go see it. There's complete transparency within Young Living, which is so cool. And you have that ability to go to the farms um, and to the labs and talk to the scientists. So that was that's kind of my favorite. That's my jam. So um, Deed to Seal is the promise that we have with Young Living that they monitor the whole process. They're not testing it. We do third-party tests and we do our own tests, but we're really looking, um, like we know that our oils are pure, right? Um, we're looking for maybe contamination that happened either from the soil, because sometimes soils can carry heavy metals, or um, you know, there's other things that Young Living is looking for, but we know our oils are pure because we were with them the whole time. We're not trusting the vendor. So, um, so here we have a map. And Young Living now has a website, seedtoseal.com, and you can go there and book a tour to any of the farms worldwide. Any, like if you're in Croatia, you can go see the Croatia farm. It's just, it's incredible. Um, okay, so how to use your essential oils. Where is it? How to use your essential oils. There's three ways. You can use it aromatically in a diffuser, which you all got with your premium starter kit. Um, you can use it topically, and that's what we know about massages and rubbing an oil on our skin. And the third way is internally. So our white label oils are labeled for internal use. So you can see we have colored, colored labels and we have white labels. So here I have a white label lemon. I also in my kitchen over there I have a yellow label lemon. So what's the difference between yellow label and white label? Well, the labels are different. This one says it's for a supplemental use, and my yellow one in my kitchen says it's for a topical or diffusing, but we use it in a kitchen. We have it, <laughs> um, it's in recipes because there's no difference of the oil, the inside, the bottle is exactly the same between the white label and the yellow label. It's just, these are labeled for consumption, and that's just a labeling law in the United States. We can't say something as a cosmetic and a supplement on the same label, so they had to separate them. Um, but just know that you know, they're the same. And I love the white labels because they all come in the smaller size bottles. So if I wanted to buy a gift for someone, say I wanted to buy thieves for someone, and I didn't know if they were, I didn't want to get them a big bottle because I also wanted to get them a diffuser or something like that, right? So I love getting the thieves vitality for them because it just comes with a lower price tag because it's a smaller bottle. When I buy thieves for myself, I buy the the brown label thieves not the white label thieves, um, not thieves vitality, because it's three times the size, but almost about double the price. So economically, it just makes more sense for me to buy the bigger bottles for my own stash, um, but the these these I use for, for gifts, those size. Okay, um, so we have three ways to use them. Let's talk about safety. Safety, we don't wanna put oils in our ears or our eyes. Um, when we do take oils internally, so say, you know, if I want to add some lemon to my water and drink it, we're always going to use glass or stainless steel. You never want to put an oil in a plastic water bottle. It'll actually dissolve the plastic and leach it into your water, and it's not going to taste good. Um, so remember glass or stainless steel for your, for your oils. Um, what else to safety? There are some oils that are spicy. So we have like cinnamon, which is in thieves. Um, so thieves is spicy. Oregano is really spicy. Some people even find mint to be very spicy. So peppermint, um, that feeling of being cool on your skin can feel spicy sometimes. And when we're using a spicy oil, it can turn our skin red. Um, so we wanna look for, you know, is, is it irritating our skin? Is it turning it red? Um, and sometimes an oil may be no problem on your skin, and then all of a sudden it's turning it red or it's irritating it. Maybe you're, you were sweating and your pores were open more, or you just got out of the shower. So sometimes I get text messages from cautious moms who are like, oh my gosh, I put dye dyes on my, tummy, on my child's tummy. Um, I just took them out of the bathtub, and it's like, well, that's because their pores are open, that it, it irritated their skin, and it caused it to... Um, just have that uncomfortable feeling. It's not dangerous, um, but it's uncomfortable. So remember, it's never too late to dilute. A diluting is when you get a carrier oil, like your vegetable oil, avocado, coconut, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, 
you can even use butter if that's all you have. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you know if you have <laughs> an oil in your eye and you want to get it out, don't use water because oil and water don't mix. It's actually going to drive it in deeper. So go get your carrier oil and flush it off. Um, we like call it erasing it, right? When you get your carrier oil to dilute it right on the spot. Um, you can also just by you know being if you want to be cautious, dilute when you're using it on more sensitive areas. So, you know, chest and above is sensitive areas, right? If you're going to put it here, you might want to dilute it more than if you were to put it on the bottom of your feet, okay? Um, so that's the main, those are the main um, safety issues. And, um, you know, I would always say that, you know, every product in the world, even water, has a, has a lethal dose, right? You can, you can take, you can drink too much water and it could dilute your, minerals and electrolytes and and it can become lethal if you drink too much too quickly right same with essential oils you don't want to get a whole bottle and drink the whole bottle that would not be smart it probably wouldn't even be palatable um, so it's always better to use a small amount over a, many times rather than like 10 drops and then you know one once a week right so you want to do you know if I'm feeling under the weather and that my my you know, throat is sore or something, I'll take some Thieves tea and sip it throughout the day. Um, you know, if you just turn to your Thieves, you know, rub it on the bottom of your feet and, you know, say it didn't work, well, you might need it to apply it more often. So it's much better to, um, to use quantity uh, rather than like one big quantity spread out rather than one big quantity all at once. Does that make sense? If you have any questions, guys, just message me. I see you guys are, are here. Lola said hi. Hey, Sandra. Um, okay, so let's talk about our oils for back to school time. I'm going to pull out. So tomorrow is the first day of school for my kids. And there is always back to school jitters, right? My kids are probably laying in bed right now, nervous or thinking about the tomorrow and having some anxiety or um, – just jitters, right, for the first day of school. So we have a lot of things that can help with that. So ground, um, this is called Valor. Valor is very grounding. It helps to, you know, ground the energy, bring you strength and courage. Valor was inspired by the essential oils that the Romans bathed in before they went into battle. So it inspires that courage. They put it on their gloves, and then when they were fighting, they'd be smelling it that whole time too. So Valor is also called the chiropractor in the bottle. So you could put it on the back of your spine before you visit your chiropractor. Um, and it has the same frequency as bones, so we can understand how it has that resonance with our skeletal system. What else about Valor? Um, so it's a good one, you know, for anyone who needs a little courage or strength to get through the day. Um, I recommend daily, if you want to use it for that purpose, put it on the bottom of your feet. Rub it on the bottom of your feet as you start each day and make that a ritual. Um, okay, other things for nerves. Uh, let's talk about let's talk about these two oils, the extra bonus oils that come in the starter kit. So these are peace and calming and stress away. Now a lot of our oils have many uses, right? So like lavender has is like when in doubt, just use lavender; it'll work. <laughs> There's so many uses for lavender. Uh, frankincense is like that too. But these two, I would say are very just very relaxing right they, I put them mostly in my diffuser um, you can wear it topically on your skin if you like the scent of it as a perfume this one does have some citrus oils the peace and calming so you don't want to put citrus oils on your skin and go out in the sun it'll make your skin more photosensitive and you could burn um, which is less likely in as we get into the colder months but um, it's a precaution that you'll want to take so peace and calming and stress away, these are two great oils. Um, rotate them. See how your kids or how you respond to them differently. See which one works better for your family. My husband likes to put stress away in water. Um, you can drink it like that. Or um, I like to wear it as a perfume. He doesn't really want to smell like stress away, so putting it in water is helpful. Um, but experiment. See which oil either stress away or peace and calming gives your home more of a relaxing feeling and has more of an effect for your family. Um, and if you don't like stress away, some people love it, some people hate it, 
add a little lemon or citrus fresh to your diffuser. So you can make a diffuser recipe blend with a couple drops of stress away and then add in a couple drops of lemon. And um, orange is really nice with it too. We call that the creamsicle blend um, in the diffuser. So see if that has an effect with your, so okay, so that's that. Um, how about sleep? Anyone have a hard time going to sleep at night because we stayed up too late during the summertime. My kids stayed up way too late in the summertime and now we're trying to get back on a routine so we can wake up early for school. So sleeping. Um, Valor can also have a good effect on calming the brain. Um, you know, peace and calming, stress away. These are all very good nervous system relaxants. So that can help um, just relax the nervous system and, and help you prepare for a bedtime. But I also like lavender and frankincense for bedtime. So you can put, everyone should have a diffuser next to their bed. We all have diffusers in our bedrooms. Um, and we put different oils in it every night depending on what issues are going on, if we're feeling under the weather or if we need better sleep or something. So lavender is a great one for sleep. A lot of times people will say, I don't like lavender, and then they smell Young Living Lavender, and like, never smell this kind of lavender. This is pure lavender, guys. Um, it's not diluted with anything directly from the plant that's most therapeutic of lavenders, different species of lavender. And this is the one that you need. So it's lavender augustifolia. Okay. Um, so lavender, what else can we use lavender for? It's good for skin issues. So if you have any, you know, skin redness or anything like that, it helps calm down the skin. Um, what else? Oh, fall time is coming, right? So it doesn't taste good, but you can put a drop of lavender in some water and sip it. So that'll help any kind of seasonal sniffles, stuff like that. Um, with the leaves and different things that, I don't know, what happens this time of year, ragweed. Um, so lavender is really good to put in your diffuser to, to you know, um, to diffuse and just to avoid any kind of seasonal issues like that. Um, and frankincense is also really good for before bed. Frankincense has a lot of research on it, guys. Um, if you want to go, I love frankincense. Um, if you want to look at the research of frankincense, you're going to go to scholar.google.com, but you're not going to type frankincense. You're actually going to type the species name when you look at the research. So it's Boswellia carteri. It's on the bottle. It's that Boswellia word. Um, and you're going to type that in. And you can type Boswellia cancer. Um, there's all things, different combinations that you could type in. Just, just see the research. It's really, really, really awesome. Um, and okay, what else can we look up? Um, okay, anyone get a nervous stomach as they're getting ready for school? Um, uh, maybe the stress is coming on and, and it, you know, agitates your stomach and the kids are nervous, um, they have nervous bellies. So digize is really good for that. And also peppermint, peppermint. So you can rub both of these on your stomach don't necessarily like to rub digize on my stomach and go out in public. I don't think it smells like a nice perfume, but you can do peppermint. Everyone loves to smell peppermint. Um, so you, if you don't want to smell like digize and you like how it feels, you can put some in with some water, right? This is the white label. You can put some in some water and sip it, or you can just get your peppermint and rub it on your stomach too. So both these are really good for tummy stuff, but digize particularly really, really good for digestive system. Digize, digestive. Um, peppermint, what else? Oh, peppermint is a good one for after school. So you can put it in your diffuser as the kids come home because, I don't know about your kids, my kids come home a little cranky. Um, so I like to put peppermint in the diffuser and it just helps to you know wake up their brain, keep them energized so you don't get that crash. Um, peppermint is also a, um, appetite suppressant. So, you know, the kids like to have a snack, but, um, you know, if they put a little peppermint in some water, it just helps to hydrate them and it'll suppress their appetite so they're not snacking too much. And then we can get onto homework and other things for the, the afternoon. Um, peppermint, what else? Peppermint. Peppermint cools down the body. Um, it tastes good in brownies. <laughs> Um, there's so many things for peppermint. Peppermint, I always have peppermint car sickness. 
Um, my, my son gets nauseous in the car and we have a diffuser in the car that we run or I'll just throw the, the bottle back to him and he'll, this is how we put oils under our tongue because oils can be strong, right? So we get just a little bit by just touching the top of the bottle. It's not even a half of a drop. And you put it under your tongue. It's a breath freshener. So peppermint is really nice um, for that. We make a throat spray out of the Thieves mouthwash, and you can add a couple drops of the peppermint to that. Um, if it's too strong for your kids, you can dilute it. But we love we love peppermint. Um, okay, what else do we have in here? How about some citrus fresh and lemon? So these are really good for this time of year. Actually, they're good for any time of the year. All the citrus oils in Young Living, all the citrus essential oils in general, are very detoxifying to the body. So they're very cleansing. The question I often get after I say that is, well, am I going to be in the bathroom all day the next day? Hey, Rosemary. Um, and it's not that type of cleanse. It's not a colon cleanse. So essential oils don't cleanse the colon. They, it's more on a cellular level. So as we are living our lives, I'm in New Jersey, so there's pollution, right? Um, we're just exposed to things in our environment that inevitably gunk up our system, right? Um, hey, Dawn, nice to see you. I'm glad you're gonna share it with your, your two nephews. Um, so it's gonna, so the, so the environment gunks up our system and, you know, whether we're, even things that we use in our home that, you know, like a vino lotion and things like that, that, um, you know, I thought of vino lotion, <laughs> Peggy often talks about this. We, I would slather a vino lotion on my kids all the time because I thought it was made out of oatmeal. It's not. <laughs> um, there's a lot of different ingredients in a vino that are not safe for the system. And um, they basically, you know, plug up receptor cells, receptor sites on your cells and, and make your cells not be able to communicate to each other and make your cells sluggish. And citrus oils help to dissolve those chemicals that have wrapped around your cells all the years and help to flush them out. So this, um, maybe not a back to school tip, but citrus oils are really good for a weight loss regimen. And that's because our bodies were designed perfectly to be able to protect our organs. The toxins are stored in our fat and it's done that to, to keep the toxins away from our organs. So sometimes when we have stubborn weight, it's not stubborn, it's actually really smart weight because it's keeping those toxins in the fat and saying, I'm not letting go of this fat because then the toxins are gonna go somewhere else. So if we can help to dissolve those toxins with citrus oils, grapefruit's really good. Um, I love citrus fresh, I think it's the most yummy because it's a blend of different citrus oils with a little bit of spearmint, so I like that mintiness of it. Um, so if we can dissolve those chemicals and toxins from our bodies that have accumulated over the decades, right, um, then the fat can be easier released from our body because it's not holding on to it for protect, to protect our organs. Um, I love to diffuse. They, there was a study done with lemon essential oil in Japan how they found that diffusing lemon essential oil can help retain memory. Um, so if your kids are studying or doing homework, you can diffuse Maybe you want to diffuse a blend with some peppermint and lemon together. It's really fresh um, aroma in the house. And the lemon can help, you know, activate those cells in your brain that, that are needed for memory. Um, another good tip if you want to um, trigger memory, so say maybe this is for like an older kid. Um, say you're going to diffuse. You can pick any oil, right? This works for any oil. So maybe they like the smell of lavender, okay? So you can diffuse lavender, um, and then while they're studying, okay, that's like their study oil, whatever oil is their favorite, you can make that their study oil. And then you can put a drop of lavender on a cotton ball and tell them before the test, just take a breath of this. Just take a, take a deep breath of the lavender on the cotton ball, maybe go to the bathroom if they feel silly. Um, or they can just, you know, put in their book bag and probably their book bag will smell like lavender if they have a cotton ball of it, right? And then just open up their book bag and they'll get a fresh um, puff of it, right? Um, but if they, you know, right before their test, they go to smell that oil that was diffusing when they were um, studying for the test at home. It activates those same uh, brain systems. So 
it can, you know, essential oils work in a way to access the limbic system. That's where our memories, our emotions, all these things are stored. So it's a really good way to engage all the senses to be able to waken up the brain. Um, so it's a really good tip for studying. Let's see what else we have. Um, hmm. Sports season, right? Soccer season's coming up. Lots of different sports are getting going to start. So for sports, if the kids, you know, maybe they had an accident or something, it got bumped on the field, pan away. Um, used to be called pain away. So if you smell it, it smells like, you know, medicinal and um, like it would be good for maybe muscles and a muscle rub, stuff like that. So this is an oil you might want to dilute and rub it on your skin, you know, especially if it's a large area like a leg or something, you wouldn't want to dilute it. Um, it is minty, so you might want to dilute it if you're putting it on a sensitive area or a young child. Um, I've never diffused pan away. This has always been, I never even tasted it. Um, this has just been a, a topical oil for us, so it's got that one use. Um, let's see. I know Alexis, who she is new in this group, she um, has some neck stuff, and she uses Panaway a lot. So she loves Panaway. That's actually what introduced her to Young Living. Um, okay, what else did I talk about? Raven. I was so excited when Raven was added to the starter kit. Raven is the one that we use the most often um, when we have coughs. So we actually use it with frankincense. And these two were probably the first two oils that I was buying multiple bottles of because when my son was three months old, I got introduced to oils when I was pregnant with him. When he had, was three months old, he had um, his first really bad respiratory uh, infection. And we went to the doctor and the doctor was like, you know, I don't want to give him antibiotics. He's really little. Go home, nurse him. And if he turns blue, go to the hospital. And I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to wait till then. I want to feel more proactive as a mom. So I called up Peggy and I asked her what oils to use. And she told me these two oils. This was Raven and frankincense. Um, and we used frankincense as a rub on his chest, we would diffuse it. I would um, diffuse Raven. I felt like his skin was a little too um, sensitive for Raven topically because it's got some uh, mintiness feeling in it. And you never want to like scare a baby with that minty feeling, right? Um, so I would diffuse the, the Raven. And again, with a, with a newborn, three months old, little babies, you don't want to put 10 drops in your diffuser. You're going to do like two or three. Like they don't need much. Um, so Raven and frankincense are our go-to oils for coughs. Um, frankincense is another one that I use very often. Um, if I'm feeling like I'm run down and need to, um, you know, support my healthy immune system, I'll just get, again, um, just a tiny bit. So I use my pinky because I feel like it's the cleanest finger, right? Um, and I just dab the top. So I'm getting, I'm not getting much on my finger, right? And put it under my tongue and it, it it like opens up your sinuses and it supports your healthy immune system and if i'm feeling like something's coming on i'll do that maybe every 15 20 minutes for a couple hours and until i see things start to like feel better um but it's important when you when you first get, get that feeling of like oh something doesn't feel right i'm getting something something going on um, it's important to go fast and furious. You don't want to be like, oh, I'll get my oils in a couple hours. No, get it right away. This is when it works the best. Um, and go fast and furious. So I always carry it on my body. So if I feel like I need to do it every 15, 20 minutes, I'll put it in a pocket. I'll carry it on my body and I'll remember then um, to just easily grab it and just take a little dab, put it under my tongue. And sometimes I set my alarm and do that another 15, 20 minutes. I'll do that a couple hours. So remember, I got a very little bit, maybe I got like an eighth or a tenth of a drop, like it was a very little bit, right, that I just rubbed off the top. And um, so it's not how much you use, it's the how often do you use it. That's the key with essential oils because the reason why that they're so safe is that they metabolize so quickly, right? So you want to use your oils often because they're going to get metabolized quickly. So just keeping it in your system is important. Okay. Um, and last but not least, thieves. 
So Thieves Essential Oil is probably the number one oil that I recommend this time of year. I'm always telling people, thieves it up. Use your thieves. Get your thieves tea. Get your thieves mouthwash. Um, get your thieves cough drops. They're going to go out of stock, so make sure <laughs> you get them. Um, so thieves is a blend, and it was developed from a legend from the 14th century. There was a plague, and these spice merchants, or thieves, because they were stealing from the dying and dead people of the plague, they were apprehended. And in order to get le less of a death sentence, they traded in their recipe on how they avoided the plague for um, less of a sentence. So they were able to um, you know, know about essential oils because they were spice merchants and they knew stuff about it. This is a blend of clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. So it's a very warm blend, um, which is really good for the cooler months. And it's really good for the immune system. So this is probably our most popular essential oil for the immune system. And it's so popular that Young Living has designed a whole product line around it. Um, you probably got, and this is going to go in my kids' book bags tomorrow too, the Thieves Hand Purifier. And I tell you, like, I've never been excited about a hand purifier. Actually, they call it hand sanitizer now. Um, I've never been excited about it because it, I've never been excited about the product in general before I found Young Living because I have very dry and sensitive skin on my hands. So I always found hand sanitizers to be drying and they just didn't feel good on my skin. And this one is so glossy and moisturizing. I love it. So you're going to love it too. Um, I, guaranteed. And you probably also got a Thieves um, spray bottle in your starter kit. Um, that is for surface areas. I do know some people in Young Living use that as a throat spray. I think it tastes gross. I much prefer the Thieves mouthwash in a, in a spray bottle to use as a throat spray. Um, but you also, I don't know how, how long you got your starter kit. Starter kit is actually supposed to have the household cleaner in it, but they're having a problem uh, with the packaging of the, of the cleaner. So um, they replaced it with the Thieves spray, which is also a great, great product. Um, but if you haven't tried the Thieves Household Cleaner, you have to try it. This little packet makes an entire bottle, you know, like a Windex size bottle, like the, what is it, like 32 ounces, 28 ounces? Um, this packet makes a whole bottle of cleaner. It is so economical. It's cheaper than Windex. It sanitizes. You can go in this group, search Thieves Household Cleaner, and you'll see all the results of, of people talking about the Thieves Household Cleaner and how it's economical, how it actually cleans your stuff. Um, the laundry detergent is awesome, and I buy laundry, the, the Thieves laundry detergent, I buy it twice a year, because that little bottle, it's like, it's like this big, <laughs> right? and it is, it cleans amazing, so go into the, um, see, type in the, in this group, the Plus Oils, um, Thieves laundry soap, and you'll see a recipe there on how you can stretch out your, your one Thieves bottle can turn into three large bottles by diluting it and adding a little of the Thieves household cleaner and a couple drops of maybe like purification or something. So awesome products. I highly recommend, like I said, the mouthwash, the whitening toothpaste is my favorite. Um, the Thieves household cleaner, Thieves cough drops. They go out of stock every single winter, even though Young Living knows that they need to buy more and more and they always increase inventory every year. Um, we always sell out of them. And the last to talk about is Ningxia Red. So these are great. I greet my kids after school in the car with these. Um, we, I pick them up from school in the car, and uh, we don't have buses in town. And um, they get thrown a pouch like this right away before they say anything because they're cranky when, <laughs> when I pick them up. And I don't like to talk to the cranky kids. So... I find that they're cranky mostly because their blood sugars are like they're hungry. They're hangry, right? That's what they are. They're hangry. <laughs> and um, this is a great way for them to stabilize their blood sugar levels. It has um, only five grams of sugar in here, so they're not going to get like a sugar spike in their blood. Um, carbohydrates is only six grams. And it's a, it's a superfood. So it's loaded with antioxidants. We all know how much we need antioxidants. I can go on and on and on about essential uh, about Ningxia Red. 
and essential oils. Um, but you can also go, I have a great video. Um, it was, it's the four top reasons to drink Ningxia Red. Um, you can Google that too. It's on YouTube and in the Plus Oils group. So it was so great chatting with you. If you have any questions, leave them here in the comments. And um, we do this Get Started call every single month. Um, we are putting them in uh, as Facebook Live every month from now on. Um, and because of Zoom calls, just I don't think people were clicking on them as much as we'd like, or they weren't going to the getting a Zoom account. So we're going to do a Facebook Live because that seems to be where most of you are, are all hanging out. And I'm also going to save them and upload them onto a YouTube channel. So you can go and um, see all the archives of it there collected. Um, if you go to plusoils.com forward slash get started, you can get all the details for that. Last but not least, I hope you guys are all taking advantage of the... Um, the text classes, we launched that in May, and they've been so popular. I've been getting such good feedback about them. If you haven't tried our text class, please, please do. Um, you'll be texting me. It's my business number. And um, it, there's all different classes. We just launched another series of different classes that you guys can um, learn about. And there's a back-to-school class. And... Um, it, there's an intro class too. There's just so many. Oh, the CBD one is really good. So get it, get involved in the text classes. It's for easy, convenient, on the go learning. Um, and if you have questions during the text class, you're not texting a robot, you're texting me. So if you have questions during it, you can, you know, text me. You're, you're, you know, you're getting the text from me, so you can send it back to me. Um, and I'd be happy to, to chat with you there and we can talk more. But, um, I'm here for, for you to, to just empower you, help you learn. And I look forward to chatting with you all soon. Bye.